Hello, this is Chill Computer Guy. We are here in Bitwig Studio. Today we're going to talk about taking a audio loop and slicing it up into either a multi-sample or a drum rack, drum machine, I believe is what it is called here in Bitwig Studio. Now first off, we need to open our browser. Let's find ourselves a drum loop. We got devices, presets, how about samples? A little splice loops, some new, uh, the reggae, dub reggae. There's some cool guitar loops in here. Well, that's pretty good. That's got some nice transients in it. Let's go ahead and drag that out into it'll automatically create an audio channel and then we'll just drop that right into scene one. Go ahead and play that. All right, good enough. Now, if we give this a double click, it will open up into our audio editor there. And uh, we'll go ahead and center that. And then if we open our inspector, if we click on the loop marker, we will get the loop options, okay? If we click on the actual header of the clip, we'll get completely different options. That's very, very important to note. That's kind of a Bitwig 101 that is often overlooked. You have your, your loop marker, and then you have your clip. Two totally different things, with totally different options. Now, if you notice, there's a drop-down menu here. Um, now, normally, it's on events by default, and you'll see there's nothing there. But if you click on here, you can see, you know, various envelopes for the gain, the pan, the pitch, the onsets, and the stretch. Now we're going to go ahead and click on onsets. And this will uh, show basically all the, uh, these are basically slice markers. If you're familiar with, uh, with the uh, Rex loop, that's uh, similar to what's going on here. But all very, very handy, very compact right here in Bitwig Studio. So let's take a look here. Let's zoom in. And we got, uh, you know, we got some, uh, these are pretty accurate, pretty accurate. This one right here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can click on these. They'll highlight blue. I'm going to delete this one. I don't want this one there. Uh, that one looks pretty good. We can kind of scroll along, see that, you know, that's, you know, good enough. Maybe we'll get rid of this one here. And then, uh, yeah, that looks good enough. And so what I want to do is click again on the header of the clip. And I want to go to split at onsets, okay? Now, what I've done is I've actually split this into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 slices. So now I have 11 slices here, 11 separate clips. And also, if you notice, it actually, this little triangle at the beginning and end of each clip is actually a fade. So it's actually faded into each uh, clip. So how do we actually put this into either a multi-sampler or a, a drum machine. What you want to do is go up into the main clip and right click. Now you're going to have options to slice to drum machine or slice to multi-sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with multi-sample. Now when you click here you'll get a dialog box that pops up. Now this is a very important dialog box, very important to understand, very important to set these things correctly. Um, First off, it's going to say bounce it, slice, and slice raw. You want to go go to slice raw, okay? You definitely want to slice raw. That's the first thing you should do. Just by doing that, it cuts down on some of the bullshit, but you just want a raw slice. That's all you want. You don't want any kind of post-fade or custom or pre-effects junk. You just want the, the raw slice. Now, it's going to say slice at, and I believe the, uh, the default is eighth notes, so be very careful because what you want to do is slice... Now, you might be fooled into thinking, well, we just split it on set, so on sets is where I want to be. But as you can see, there's a little preview. This will give you 21 slices. So those fades are actually going to create problems there. So what you actually want to do is go to audio event, and that'll be 11 slices. You know, we just counted there's 11 slices. You know, this is perfect. So you got to make sure to click on audio event and then you click OK. What it's done is it's created a new instrument track. And if you double click that, you will see there's the multi sample. If you go to edit multi sample, there's all the clips. Now it's going to by default, it's going to start everything at C1. So you can see each slice is there. That first slice is empty. The second slice is there. The third slice is there. The fourth slice is there. The fifth slice is there. All the slices are right there. You can see, and of course, you have control over each individual slice down here. Let's go ahead and delete that. And what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, and we're going to go bounce to drum machine this time. 
So again, same thing. You always want to have it on audio events. Not on onsets is misleading because you think onsets would be right, but it's actually audio events that works. 11 slices. So again, I click here. I have 11 separate drum pads. Remember the first one is dead air. Now I have the loop in MIDI notes, so I can go ahead and play this solo. It. And you can see if I click here, it's actually just sequencing the drum machine here. Go ahead and put that on loop. Let's go ahead and shorten that down a little bit here. Put that through all of them. Go ahead and hit play on there. So you can see, now we have our loop in MIDI notes. Again, each one of these is in its own separate So as you can see, what we've done is we've taken a simple audio loop, we have put it into a multi-sampler, or in this case, a drum rack or drum machine in Bitwig Studio, and we have arranged it, split it into MIDI notes, and then arranged the loop. This is Chill Computer Guy. This pretty much wraps up today's tutorial. We will see you guys next week. Thanks. Please subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. <laughs>